Hey everyone, this is Mr. Kazi, and today we're going to talk about significant figures and why they're important. First of all, what are significant figures? Significant figures are all the possible digits plus one guess. That's right. All possible digits plus one guess. The importance of significant figures are for measurements. When we're doing our measurements, we want to be able to record the very best uh, numbers that we can possibly find on our measuring device. And you need to remember that our data is only as good as the tools and the idiot using it. And so we need to be very careful about how we measure things in our significant figures. And you might ask yourself, what is the purpose of significant figures? And the purpose of significant figures is to maintain the integrity of our data and to tell people how good our measuring device was. Okay? Significance also show the precision of the measuring device. So you want to record all the significant figures that you can. And that way, if you, if you can measure to the hundredths of a unit, then you need to show that. If you can only measure to the tenths of a unit, you need to show that. Okay? Let's look at an example. Here's a ruler that I made. And let's say that our measuring went to where the arrow is. Now, you look at that arrow. Right away, you can tell that we have a 2. There are 2. As a matter of fact, they're 2.1. Now, that's pretty easy to tell, 2.1. And now we can make our guess. Between the 0.1 and the 0.2, there aren't any divisions anymore. But we can kind of guess what that should be. And I'm thinking he could measure all the way to the tenths exactly. And he could still tell where the hundreds were. He could make that guess. Well, let's look at what are exactly significant figures. Now we know what they're, how they're used and why, why they're used. They're used for the integrity of our data and to show how good the tool was. Now in a math class or some other class, significant figures might not be all that important. You just write down your numbers and your zeros and you don't really think about the measuring device you're using. But in chemistry and in science, how good your scales are, how good your ruler is, how good your um, balance is, is very important. And you need to show that to show uh, people how good your measurements were. So some significant rules. The first thing about significant figures is that all non-zero digits are significant. All non-zero digits are significant. That means one, two, three, all the way to nine are all significant. The only digit that we question its significance is the zero. Now that's not to mean that zero isn't important. Listen very carefully. Just because we say the zero is not significant, doesn't mean it doesn't have a job. It does have a job. Remember, always remember, the zero is a placeholder. And a lot of times it needs to hold the place so that we can show place value of the other digits. Significant rule number two, all zeros between sig figs are significant. Here's some examples. Significant rule number three, leading zeros are not significant and some more examples. All those leading zeros were not significant. Trailing zeros are significant only. Now there's two conditions here and it's not an and or. This is an and uh, statement. Okay? There is no or. Both statements have to be true. If after the decimal and if after a sig fig you have a significant figure. The zeros are significant. So the two leading zeros are not significant in this number. However, the two trailing zeros there are significant because it's after a decimal point and it's after significant figures. The two nines and an eight are significant automatically. Sig fig rule number five, zeros between sig figs and a written decimal are significant. Here's an example. Those zeros are not significant. However, now they are. Did you see that? The zeros weren't significant, and now they are. 
Let's go ahead. Oh, now they're not significant. 1,000 without a decimal point at the end is not significant. But let's go and put it back. It's just like magic. Voila. Those three zeros are now significant. Questions? Remember, if you do have any questions, send an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com. Or you can go to mrkazi.com and uh, look at the videos that are up. You can go to YouTube and catch on to uh, the, this video. Or you can just read the pages there on the website. Lots of resources at mrkazi.com. Let's do some practice. Practice time. How many sig figs? Did you say three? How many sig figs here? Four. Now this is confuses people. Remember those are leading zeros. Leading zeros are never significant. So there's only three significant figures. Those trailing zeros have no decimal point. So again, it's only three significant figures. Questions? Remember, you can send an email to mrkazi at mrkazi.com.